Minecraft. Awesome! Minecraft is awesome. And it is Brian, and today I just want to do some kind of practice of UHC style caving. Uh, kind of like, you know, the first kind of getting started stuff. And so I'm just going to kind of create a new world with all the default options. And uh, just for my own utility. Zero minutes. Going to have some kind of audio timer going in the background. But basically, yeah, there's a million things to talk about. It's like, welcome back. Where have I heard that before? I think I heard it in Kurt's video recently. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot of things that I want to talk about. And at the same time, I've been doing a bit of stuff involved with UHC lately, and so I just wanted to kind of do some practice, and I thought that this would be something that my poor addled brain would be able to talk and play the game at the same time, because I've done a lot of this lately. So, let's see. Where should I start? I guess I'll start with... Sorry that I've been gone for so long and have hardly had any videos. Fix your game, Jeb. Uh, all right, good. There's some stone down here, and so we will get that. I, yeah, have basically had a combination of things going on. I was sick for a while, and then I went on vacation for a while, and then I came back from vacation and ended up with some hardware failures. And so all of those things contributed to me producing very little video over the past month or so. And so for that, apologies for those of you who enjoy getting your daily dose of Brian, but hopefully I'll be getting back into the swing of things. I have a bit of new computer hardware, and I guess that is something that I could start by talking a bit more about. Um, yeah, so I guess, yeah, let's start there. Uh, apologies ahead of time if I didn't already say it about how this video might happen to turn out, because I do feel like I've been out of commentary practice. I actually have tried recording three or four different episodes of things, uh, exploration and tactics and UHCs and different things, and they all... Uh, ooh, hello, Enderman. I don't see any coal or anything down there. They all came out really horrible, and so I just kind of threw them away. And I think I've had both a little bit more practice rehearsing as well as, uh, yeah, just feeling back into the swing of things a little bit more. So I think this one will actually take, hopefully, uh, let's see if we can find some food animals, but I want to try to kind of focus on talking different things for the moment. So, yeah, I guess computer hardware is one that we will start with. In the past few days, I have gotten a new keyboard, a new graphics card, and a new solid-state disk drive. Uh, I mentioned all these things on Twitter, for those of you who happen to follow me on Twitter. I also get kind of like announcements of videos when they go live, if you're not a YouTube subscriber. Uh, but. Uh, still want to keep track of my videos. That's one other way that you can do it. And yeah, so basically the keyboard surprisingly is perhaps like the most important thing. Well, maybe not surprisingly, uh, but I think I had mentioned like before I uh, went away last time that my W key on my keyboard was starting to fail. Uh, namely that like, you know, I'd press it and it would get a little bit stuck or different things. Uh, well, the W key kind of finally jumped the shark on me when I returned from vacation. And first it went into a mode where I would press W and it would like get stuck down and like you'd have to like, you know, use your fingernail underneath it to try to like lift the W key back up in order to like use it again. Um, which was, I still tried playing with it for a couple of days like that. It was kind of like annoying, but like vaguely, barely tolerable. Uh, and then it finally got to the point to where it just, like, got sunk in and didn't bounce back up at all. And so I was like, all right, it's time to get a new keyboard. Uh, and uh, also, of you, also many of you may remember or have noticed, uh, I don't think it's happening anymore. I've been playing for a few days with this new graphics card now. But my previous graphics card was old and uh, no longer had, like, completely up-to-date drivers and different things. And you may recall, ooh... I need to not take fall damage, 
but I would like to get that iron, even if it's just one or two pieces. Hello, iron. Uh, my graphics card had this weird bug where the... Ooh, I hear a skeleton. Let's also... Well, I don't see him down there, and it's very steep. I don't think he can shoot me anyway. My graphics card had a bug where down at the bottom, where it says I have four dirt and 12 pork chops, sometimes those numbers uh, that list how many of each item you have would just kind of flicker randomly on the screen. And also, uh, when I was attacking mobs, like any mobs, creepers, skeletons, pigs, whatever, uh, there was a bug where as they were taking damage and getting attacked, the left side of their head would turn completely white for some reason. Um, and there might have been a couple of other annoyances, and it was also just like an old graphics card that was uh, used too much power and... Um, have I gotten any apples yet? I have not. Uh, yeah, just wasn't super fast in terms of frame rate and whatnot. Um, guess let's... Oops, crap. I, that was dumb. <laughs> that is not good for UHC practice. Uh, I may or may not try to manage my food so that I am not naturally generating, regenerating health to make it seem more like ultra hardcore, and so I might try to keep this one heart loss going. Uh, let's see. So in any case, I got a new graphics card, and it's better. My FPS is a little bit up. Um, one of the, in addition to no longer having the graphical glitches that I was having before, hey, a desert, we might be able to find a variety of good things uh, in this area. In addition to those graphical glitches uh, and FPS, another thing is that I'm able to uh, run my monitor at a different resolution than I did before, uh, which basically means even though I'm still playing the game in a 720p window, I'm going to try, does the desert stretch this way? Even though I'm still playing the game in a 720p window, uh, it takes up more like more pixels, more inches on my actual physical monitor now, which means I can actually see a bit more. Like I go down into caves and like there'll be a skeleton far away in the cave and I can actually see him, whereas previously I wouldn't have been able to see him kind of thing. And so that is useful as well. And so I think my abilities to kind of like see things, ooh, chicken, in the distance has slightly improved as a result of that. And I'm going to continue kind of trying to tweak that because especially in uh, ultra hardcore or any type of PvP matches, like vision is very important and it's something that I don't think I have been characteristically very good at in the past, uh, but some of that has been a result of just, you know, the physical constraints of my hardware setup and so hopefully I'm improving that. What time? We're about seven minutes in. Uh, that is not a bad looking cave to try to go down. Am I ready to go down? Yeah, let's do this real quick before I head down there. Let's go ahead and throw down a furnace. I'm just going to use some of that. And since I'm wasting a little bit of that and don't have a ton of wood, I'm going to grab some more wood really quick while that's cooking. Also glance, the skeleton doesn't appear to be on the surface, so I think I'm safe going to glance on the side of this pillar to see if I see any coal as well, which would be pretty useful. Otherwise, I might need to make a little bit of charcoal. Hello, any coal? One of the disadvantages of snow biomes is that some of the exposed stone is covered in snow, and so you can't immediately see if it's an ore, uh, which is kind of a bummer. Oh well. So, yeah, new keyboard, new graphics card. Uh, and finally, so long as I was spending money on a computer, <laughs> uh, I don't know if this is, I think it actually will turn out to be justifiable in the end, uh, but the thing that I spent the most money on is a new 500 gig solid state drive, uh, which was the most expensive component, but basically in the past I have always had the limitation that I could only record for about two hours at a time uh, to my old solid state drive, which wasn't very large, before I would basically be running out of disk space. And so after recording that much, I was basically forced to 
you know, go and edit video if I wanted to do anything else. And now, with a whole lot more disk space, I can not only record, you know, for longer, so like a longer UHZ match, like I've played in some three and four hour matches and haven't recorded them all because I didn't have enough disk space to record. And uh, so not only be able to record longer, but also if, for example, I eventually play Inferno Mines, Ten minutes. Uh, it can be fun to play those maps for hours at a time. And uh, previously, whenever I've played a super hostile map or one of those maps, I've always just started getting into it and then had to go and quit because I was out of disk space and take some time and go and edit the video and upload the video and get it off my disk in order to move forward again. And so it was basically, it was a very inefficient system is what I'm trying to say. And so I think the system will be a lot better for me. And so I hope that that will result in incentives that uh, make me want to create more videos. Uh, we will see how that goes with time. But in any case, those are kind of the quick hardware updates for Brian. And so as a result, here I am creating videos once again that will hopefully finally air because I've been such a huge slacker of late, especially when, while I do think from what I recall of, oop. All right, I definitely hear footsteps. I don't hear splashing sounds though, and so I think I'm gonna do that to get down here quickly. Oops, crap. All right, and I hear a zombie right here, and so there's gotta be a cave here, but I also see coal. Let's start with that. Let's fix this up a little bit. All right, hopefully I'm not gonna break. Oh, let's do this too, just to be safe. So yeah, hopefully I'm going to be back into a rhythm of making some videos, and at the same time, I've thought about like all kinds of changes, but none of them have really kind of like taken, or I haven't made any kind of like firm decisions on kind of like any ma ma major changes for the channel. Uh, so we'll just kind of like see as time evolves where things go. But in any case, for today, I'm just happy to have something to broadcast that hopefully some of you will be interested in. And yeah, I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I have a bunch of different things that I would like to talk about. For example, my, my trip and my vacation is one that I've already had some people say, you know, definitely tell us about that. Uh, and I would like to talk about those things. I don't think, uh, hello zombie, would you like to get close enough so that I can hit you and then all the other zombies in the area will come over here? This does not look like the best cave to break into first, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway. I hear one skeleton, and that usually means there's others. It does look like there's the third zombie. That there's going to be a bunch of things going on. Here. I'm not going to try to talk about my tip. Oh, and there is a creeper. Ugh. Yes, it's not super pretty. Hello, zombie. I'm not going to try to talk about my trip today, mostly because uh, knowing how out of practice I am with commentary in general. Uh, I am quite certain that the combination of trying to stay alive while UHC style caving, uh, plus, all right, here comes another zombie again, plus trying to do storytelling and recollection of my trip is just not going to work. So I'm going to pick somewhat easier topics to talk about in today's episode. In a future episode, I'll come back to talking more about my trip. All right, there's still a creeper around there somewhere, but we'll see him when he comes. Uh, so instead, I'm going to talk about some UHC topics, which will be easier for my brain to kind of manage right now, I think, hopefully. <laughs> we will see. This is all speculation. Oh, there's a skeleton. All right, we're going to run. Uh, zombie, two zombies, the skeleton's coming up behind me in just a moment, and zombies do a ton of damage once they're almost dead. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. All right, let's still try to stay alive. That's the point of this, right? Okay, at least I'm still alive. In order to keep the video going, I'm going to start regenerating some health. But yes, those are the types of mistakes that we cannot afford to actually make in UHC. So this is good, we're learning. But in any case, speaking of UHC, oh, did he have an enchanted bow too? I only got a quick glance at it. Speaking of UHC, uh, while I had some computer issues that were preventing me from recording, uh, it was still the case 
that I managed to play some uh, UHC matches and have had mixed success, I suppose we could say. Uh, I have actually won uh, one or two matches, depending upon how you count things, uh, in the last few days. I won a small free-for-all that was kind of like a little bit of a crazy setup. Um, and basically, I just managed to avoid other players until I happened to notice that it was just me and one other guy left, and I had more hearts than him, and so we just met up and I managed to take someone down. Uh, and so that was just mostly luck. And then I also played in a team game that was an Ender Dragon Rush that was Kill the Dragon. Uh, and in that team game, I was actually the first to die on my team when we, we got to the end and were fighting the dragon. I'm going to go ahead and make some boots real quick. And other teams started coming into the end, and so the combination of fighting the dragon and other teams at the same time. I ended up dying, and eventually all of our team, except for Petey Boo, ended up dying. But Petey Boo managed to kill off the other teams, and then kill off the dragon all by himself with all the loot that he picked up from everybody. And so that was kind of a win for me, because it was a team game, so you could call it a team win. Although, honestly, Petey did most of the work in that one. And so that kind of gives me some confidence with respect to UHC. But then I've also played... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Darn it. All right, you're really close and you're unenchanted, and so I'm just going to take the half heart of damage. Uh, and busk it. Oh, my goodness. So the good news is, with my monitor, I can actually see... Uh, all the enemies that were coming up there after me. Unfortunately, did they just lose sight of me and now all of them are not coming? I don't think he'll be able to shoot me from over here, and hopefully, yes, he did walk up. But he is going to be able to shoot me if I don't have something to hide behind here. Okay, let's do that. I don't think that's thorns. There, now he's against a wall. Oh, and it's a uh, chest plate that, even though it's going to suck, I will put it on. Oh, no, I've already got an iron chest plate. Haha, -ha, I'm not going to put it on. All right, there were at least two more zombies, and one of them had a... Right, and if I hit you, then all the other zombies will come to me. Thanks to their social behavior. Uh, Minecraft... Oh my gosh, look at them all, too. Minecraft uh, has played a lot more UHC lately, obviously. Since I last spoke to you guys, I think... Uh, you know, UHC 10 came out, and I might have made videos, like, right towards the end of that, and now UHC 11 is going on. Uh, they still have not played in 1.5. Everybody's talking about the, you know, how the skeletons are going to kill them all in 1.5. I think people really underestimate the zombies. The zombies' new social behavior, where if one zombie sees you, all of them in the area immediately can pathfind to you, even without seeing you makes zombies quite formidable, in my opinion. All right, there's some gold, so we'll definitely want to get some iron cooking up and an iron pick. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I could also really use a bucket, uh, an iron sword. Yeah, there's a bunch of things I could use. So let's get some more iron. I think that the zombies are when the minecrackers finally do switch to 1.5 and do a UHC, assuming, of course, that they do because they have done a bit of UHC lately, but it seems like they're at least considering kind of like making it a more kind of common monthly kind of thing, which I think would be awesome because I think UHC is a lot of fun, uh, both to play and to watch. Let's make sure we keep that going in the furnace. Let's go ahead and make my pick really quick since my pick is about to run out. Uh, I'm trying to manage my inventory. I had two different kinds of planks, and so I turned one of them entirely into sticks so that now I can just use the other one. I could really use another furnace at this point as well. But I'm not going to make that right this instant because I do have enough to dig up around here that I'll be standing here again for a little bit of time. Uh, there's another zombie. So yeah, basically, I think the zombies will be formidable. Obviously, the skeletons uh, will give the guys a little bit more trouble as well, just because they can see you from farther away. Um, but I feel like, uh, yes, there is a skeleton there that I probably would not have been able to see on my old monitor resolution. 
But now, thanks to the miracle of new graphics card, I can see him and block him off. And in fact, I might be able to uh, try to coerce him to come over here and hit him at his feet. But I don't really need his drops all that badly. And there is some gold right over here that I need to get. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to see how they uh, cope with that. Overall, I'm also impressed, like, the fact that they've played a few UHCs lately uh, has gotten them into some practice. And while uh, most of the Minecrackers are still not super awesome at UHC, like, they've definitely gotten 20 minutes better uh, significantly, in my opinion, in any case. And so kudos to them for that. We're going to do that to make sure that if there's gravel up here, we don't get suffocated. Got a little bit of gold, and so if this were actual UHC, I'd potentially be able to do some healing, except for I never managed to get any apples from the surface. And we're at 20 minutes, and so we'll be turning daytime on the surface up again. And so I think I'm going to do this like if I were playing a normal UHC match, and basically uh, head back upstairs and try to get some more things that I would want to get upstairs for practice. And so let's do that. I can go ahead and create some pants while we're at it. And I'll hold on to the gold to smelt later. Uh, zing. Still need a hat. Don't have enough iron for that yet. Moving right along. So let's see. Uh, I was talking about the fact that I've played some uh, UHC pickup matches from the... Oh, crap, crap. Oh, that's a spider. Uh, is it just one spider? He seems like he's stuck oddly. I guess he's actually like on the ceiling somewhere. I would like to try... Oh, I hear a creeper or something too. Crap. Yeah, there's a creeper somewhere. That makes me a bit more nervous. I need to go to the surface. So I'm just going to go back to the surface. Ha <laughs> And that is why you put a torch at your feet before you dig straight up. Hooray. Uh, what was I saying? Right. So in addition uh, to having some success in some UHC matches, even some of the UHC matches that I've played in that uh, I did not have success in terms of winning, I have had some luck. I had one crazy match where I found three zombie dungeons, and in said dungeons, I managed to find an infinity book, a flame book, protection three, protection four. Uh, I saw some coal here that I want to grab. And there's also iron. Uh, protection three, protection four, fortune three. And I think there was one other good book. This was all in one match, like in the first 40 minutes. Uh, and so that was, you know, pure insanity. And so I didn't manage to find any diamonds early because I was spending time like taking out these zombie dungeons uh, and being crazed about these books and then trying to get enough iron to make an anvil. So I at least made myself an infinity flame bow uh, and a couple pieces of really good protection iron armor. Um, let's see. Right, I was just going up and up and up. So let's just continue going up now. But despite those advantages, uh, two things. One is I did finally find some diamonds near the end of the match and uh, was just in a rush and forgot to actually... I don't think I had enough levels right at the moment, but I should have gotten a few more levels. Ooh, it's snowing out. And then put Fortune 3 on my pick before I mined the diamonds because there were five diamonds there. Uh, and that probably would have turned into like, you know, like 10 diamonds or something. And so I would have been able to make some other diamond gear. Uh, but I neglected to do that. All right, let's see. We've got about another five minutes of daylight. I wonder if I can get a swamp biome would be the most likely place to try to get some apples. I hear a skeleton somewhere. I think he was just below me. Um... And so if I'm trying to do this, like, real UHC practice, I guess we'll just try to go find another biome and see if we can find a swamp. So yeah, I had all these great books. I did manage to kind of put some of them into play. But then, speaking of the snow, uh, people were heading to zero zero to meet up. 
And uh, so I did likewise. And I've got my Infinity Flame bow, and so I thought my chances were going to be pretty good. And I get to the surface and start engaging people, and it starts raining. And guess what? A flame bow is not as good as it used to be when it's raining and it no longer catches people on fire because they immediately go out. And I didn't even realize that that was happening uh, kind of like during the match. Um, but as a result, it basically kind of like nullified one of my main advantages, but I it didn't kind of click in my head. And so I was still trying to fire at people with the bow and it was hardly doing any damage because it wasn't even a power one bow. The only enchants I managed to put on it uh, were Infinity and Flame. And it was good that I had the Infinity because I only had two arrows uh, in my inventory. Um, yeah, and so that was, you know, just another piece, of, little piece of strategy that can, you know, happen to you unexpectedly if you haven't thought about it before. Uh, and so I should have switched to my Sharpness 1 Sword, because I did have the five diamonds, and so I'd gotten kind of all the other basic enchants uh, before the meetup at the end of the match. And so in any case, as usual, you know, losses are always a little bit disheartening, and so it was disheartening to have been feeling that I was doing really well and having lots of luck. And then have it all disappear very quickly when I finally got into PvP, because let's face it, I'm still not very good at PvP. I'm getting slightly better, but there is still a long way for me to go to improve in that particular area. All right, I see lots of jungles. That's a possibility to get apples, but I don't really love anything that's happening out here. Uh, and jungles are hard to navigate, and so maybe it's time to just try to find another cave system. I don't want this episode to go too long. Um, so yeah, let's try to practice caving for a couple more minutes, and let me see real quick what other kind of UHC-related topics I want to try to talk about quickly before we finish up here. Um, the most recent ultra-hardcore mod uh, by Gowden that a lot of people are using does now implement golden heads. Uh, golden heads, for those of you who don't know... Ooh. Oh, no, it wasn't a creeper. It was just kind of the swamp reeds and whatever. And I hear skeletons somewhere that way, so I don't really want to go that way. And so instead, we're just going to try doing some digging down. Ooh, I hear spiders, which might be below me. I wonder if there'll be a mine shaft. We'll find out in a moment. Let's go ahead and cover up the head to be a little bit safer. Oops, 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 oops. I did not mean to be digging straight down. I'm supposed to be standing on both of these blocks. So golden heads basically are when you kill a player, the players drop their heads as an item. Uh, and so you've probably seen that before. Uh, but golden heads, basically, just like you can craft a golden apple with eight gold ingots around the apple, and it gives you two hearts. Golden heads, in the latest version of the mod, you can put eight gold ingots around a player's head, and then eat that, and that will give you four hearts. And so it's basically something that kind of encourages PvP. Uh, and gives you a little bit of extra reward for killing someone, because rather than trying to get an apple, which takes a little bit of time, uh, and only gives you two hearts, so now you can use the head. You still have to have the gold, so gold is still very important, even if you're doing PvP, in order to craft the golden head. Um, but yeah, I think it's a nice little thing that kind of adds a little bit of balance, and so in one of the recent uh, UHCs that I've played and not recorded, I did manage to eat my first golden head, uh, and so that is exciting. We're not finding caves now that we're getting down here. I think most of those monsters that we're hearing were actually up on the surface. So we'll see how this goes. But in any case, overall, I think that that is a good addition for kind of like the vanilla common UHC mod. And I think there may be a couple other small changes or additions as well, but I'm not thinking of what those are right at this moment. Uh, so perhaps we'll talk about that again in the future. Uh, and then finally, just kind of related to UHC, I do believe I have feathers, right? I've got three feathers and one flint. And so it would be useful to try to get at least a couple more flint. And anytime you're going to be standing around just digging for a while or uh, doing something not too useful, you definitely want to have furnaces going. And so let's try to correct that right now. Because it's good to stay in the right kind of practice, even if I'm not going to use this in two minutes. 
and actually, if I have iron, an iron shovel really does dig quite a bit faster. And in just a moment, I'll have the, oops, the other iron I need to finish out my armor, which actually would have been a better thing to craft first. But yeah, look at that. All right, now I've got all the flints that I need. And so uh, I don't have enough to craft a bow, but in any case, I can go ahead and craft the arrows and get these things out of my inventory. Free up some inventory slots, which is great. And go ahead and make the helmet. So yeah, in any minutes. case, the uh, UHC mod is kind of like continuing to evolve on its own and I think mostly good directions, even though it's a few different changes to get used to. It's also changed on like the tab screen, the way the, the player's health gets displayed, uh, which I think is mostly a good thing as well. All right, I just heard my timer announce 30 minutes. And so 30 minutes into this game, unfortunately, I definitely uh, had a bad part where I got ambushed by some zombies and skeletons at the same time. And by ambushed, I mean, I didn't play it very well. Uh, and so I would have actually taken a lot of damage in UHC and wouldn't have been healing. But in 30 minutes, we did manage to get full iron armor and iron tools. And what did I have? Seven gold? So that's not a bad start. Uh, I find that my starts in this are highly variable when I practice them on my own. And I managed to talk about a few different things. Uh, there's still a lot more things that I want to talk about, and so we will do that in future episodes. In any case, I will thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are having a great day, as always. And, for real, I will see you again soon! And, oh wow, is this Void Fog? Six! I did not realize I'd dug down that far. Alright, another thing I need to be more aware of is when I am digging straight down, just how far down I've gone. All right, have a great day. See you guys again soon. Bye-bye.